Hey, my name's Tim Buell, and today we're gonna check out a preamp that can record crystal clear, pristine tones. And then just by turning a few knobs, this preamp can record gritty, compressed, kind of mangled tones. Now, why does this matter? Because I can already hear some of you saying, you know, plugins are so much cheaper, don't waste your money on outboard gear, it's expensive and not as flexible. I, I hear you, I, I truly do. But the number one lesson that I've learned in recording over the years that I've done it is that good in equals good out, uh, garbage in equals garbage out, and mediocre in equals mediocre out. The better you can make your signal chain before anything hits the computer, the better your results are going to be, period. Now this starts with treating the room well, making sure the instrument is tuned and for uh, drums like dampened well and muffled correctly. Uh, and then it goes down the line to making sure you capture the correct performance that's balanced and dynamic and all of that stuff. And then it goes about choosing the right mic. And then it comes to the preamp and recording through a preamp that provides the complementary color and you know characteristics that you want it to fundamentally can change the kind of quality of your recordings. So maybe you, like me a few years ago, you've been using the stock preamps that come on your interface and you've decided upgrading would really improve the quality of my recordings. And that makes sense. But then you start looking around and you start realizing that outboard preamps, you know, start at like $500 and start to cost like $1,000, $1,500, $10,000. You can pay whatever you want for outboard preamps. There's a lot to choose from. And you start to realize that, man, picking an outboard preamp to upgrade my sound with is not only a financial commitment, but it's also a sonic commitment. Because sometimes you want a preamp that just provides a super clean, solid, transparent sound. But other times you want a preamp that adds color and maybe grit or distortion or, or harmonic color. And typically those would have to be two totally different preamps, two totally different signal chains to get the clean thing or the gritty thing. But that's exactly why today we're talking about the DIY recording color duo. And no, this isn't paid promotion. They did send me this unit but uh, they don't get to see this video before you do, and they didn't pay me to say any of this stuff. They sent me this unit and said, hey, check it out. If you like it, make a video about it. If not, no hard feelings, um, but you know, here you go. So what you're gonna hear today, they don't get to have approval of over. They're seeing it exactly when you're seeing it. So everything you're gonna hear today, they didn't pay me to say this, and it's just my honest opinion. So the Color Duo is a stereo pair of preamps that each preamp has an option for three color slots, which we'll get to, and you can buy, like everything that DIY recording sells, you can buy these as either kits that you assemble yourself, which saves you money, or you can just buy it pre-assembled and tested um, from their factory. So DIY sent me this unit assembled, so I didn't put it together myself, but you can buy the kind of not assembled unit for $500 on their website right now, it's on sale. Um, and then you can get the assembled version that they've tested and put together themselves for 800. So with these two preamps, you get two just super crystal clear, pristine preamps that have really low noise. Um, I think 66 dB of gain. And this is gonna be a really good situation if you're recording things like ribbon mics, which are kind of quiet and inherently kind of usually have a lot more noise, which I actually am. All the demos that we're gonna hear today were recorded with my room mic that's right there. It's a Cascade X15 stereo ribbon mic. And a lot of times with outboard preamps, like that's, that's kind of where the feature set stops, right? Um, you get the preamps and then you're on your way, but the DIY Duo has a lot more than that. So on each channel strip, you're gonna get a bunch of different buttons and those buttons do really, really useful things. Each preamp has a button for phantom power. They have a high pass filter at 80 Hertz. They have a negative 20 dB pad, which is super useful for drums. There's a phase invert button, also very useful for drums. And there's also a button for mic line, which means you're gonna have a TRS cable and a mic cable plugged in. And depending on what you wanna record, you can just press a button. Very, very useful if you record many different instruments and wanna use these preamps for multiple instruments. And then lastly, there's this little button that says color. And that's most of the reason I think that if you're gonna upgrade from your entry-level interface preamps to your first outboard pair, um, this is a really good option. This color button 
provides a ton of flexibility and it kind of the ceiling is just what your imagination can think of. So for each preamp, you can install a little breadboard, little circuit board thing. Um, they're very easy to install. And for each preamp, you can pick whatever three colors you want. And this gives you an insane amount of flexibility because for each color you add, you can just blend it into taste. Then with the group of the three colors, you can blend that overall into the dry preamp. And it just kind of gives you a limitless possibility for dialing in exactly how much of whatever colors you put in there. And they have color palettes that uh, emulate consoles, emulate EQs, emulate preamps, emulate distressors, emulate compressors. They have all kinds of stuff that uh, you can put colors in for the preamps. So right now, what I have in each preamp, so again, each preamp has three slots. In each of the three slots for the preamps, I have a CTX transformer, which kind of does an API type thing. Uh, I have a 15 IPS uh, tape machine saturation. And then I have a tone lock, level lock thing that is kind of like um, distortion and compression. And each preamp has those three, and I've loved being able to mix and match those on room mics. And the most amazing thing is if you ever want to swap out your colors, you don't need any tools at all. You don't need to know how to solder. All you have to do to change out a color insert is turn the unit off, back out two thumb screws, uh, pull the kind of innards out of the thing, pop out what you want to swap out, pop in the, bo the board that you want to swap it with, slide it back in, do the thumb screws on, turn it back on, and you have a totally new preamp, essentially. It's pretty incredible. So now let's get into some demos of each color. On screen, I'll describe exactly what's going on, um, but let's just jump into kind of hearing these preamps and uh, see what we get into. Now this piece of gear is just so flexible, I think, for any kind of modern person that's recording at home because, you know, maybe you're a producer and you record vocals, you record guitar, you record stereo piano mics on your upright piano, uh, and you record bass, DI sometimes. Um, it's kind of hard to find one preamp that's going to do all of those things in the way that you'd want to do it and gives you some flexibility with it. But with this Color Duo, um, you can record all of those separate things. You know, you can have one of your preamps kind of outfitted with some colors that are great for vocals and, you know, maybe piano or something. Um, and then you can have the other one that's specifically for recording like bass and synths and whatever, and you can outfit the color slots for that. And just depending on what you're recording, you hit the mic line button versus, you know, whether you're going DIN or you're recording a microphone. And then you have the colors that you can either crank them up or just press a button and disable one or the other or all of them. And it just gives you an infinite amount of flexibility to be able to dial in stuff without having to unplug and plug a bunch of stuff in or have, you know, six different preamps for these six different instruments. You kind of get all of that in one or two preamps, which really is amazing. It really does solve, I think, a huge problem. And it makes it affordable, which is a huge benefit. And the only feature I do wish that the DIY Duo had was it doesn't have a standalone on off switch. It does have a active bypass switch, which is cool. And I think the thought here is, you know, people are just going to have this plugged into a power conditioner and when they power on the power conditioner, it comes on. And for me, I, I have a lot going on in my rack over there. 
so I don't actually have it on the power conditioner because um, I'm out of slots and it's this whole thing. I don't want to get another one because it yeah, doesn't matter. I just wish there was a separate on off switch. Uh, and this is something pretty common. I have a Audion ASP 880. They also don't put an on off switch on it. Um, because again, the assumption is you're going to put it in a power conditioner. That is the on off switch for all the gear plugged into it. But just a little nitpicky thing. I wish it had an on off switch.